There is also a massive risk of civilian harm. Controversial cluster munitions are banned by over 100 countries, but Russia and the United States are not among them. And now the U.S. will send stockpiled cluster munitions to Ukraine. We base our security assistance decision on Ukraine's needs on the ground. We will not leave Ukraine defenseless at any point in this conflict, period. Here's what makes cluster munitions so deadly. The initial shell can be dropped from a plane or fired from the ground. It then opens, releasing up to hundreds of smaller bombs. The Red Cross estimates up to 40 percent of those smaller bombs are duds, landing unexploded on the ground, where they can pose a lethal risk to innocent civilians for years. The ones that we are considering providing would not include older variants uh, with dud rates that are higher than 2.35 percent. Uh, if you even go with the 3 to 5 percent dud rates uh, that I've experienced personally, uh, that's, uh, you know, that's about four or five small grenades per round times 100,000. You're talking about close to a half a million, and that's a conservative estimate. There is also a massive risk of civilian harm if Russian troops and tanks roll over Ukrainian positions and take more Ukrainian territory and subjugate more Ukrainian civilians because Ukraine does not have enough artillery. That is intolerable to us. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting.